Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> a question for you two. Why are you so stinky? Huh? Stinky, slinky, stinky, slinky. Hey, what's up creatures? It's Em and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome. My name's Em. I'm a former zookeeper and I'm a digital animal educator. Today's edition of Pet YouTuber Reacts is a cute or cruel edition. In cute or cruel, I go through a bunch of videos that you send in to me to react to and I break it down with my thoughts as to whether a viral clip is cute or cruel. By the way, I bought this shirt online, I thought that it was nice and autumnal, and then I realized it is massively misprinted across here, here, and here. These are not stains, these are printed onto the shirt. So uh, the stainage, I am afraid, is, is not mine, but it is there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover it like this so we can never tell. I'll just have a hairy chest for this episode. If there's a video, if there's a video that you would like me to look at for a future episode of Pet YouTuber Reacts Cute or Cruel or a different kind of React video, feel free to send me them via DM to my Instagram, which you can find down here. Let's jump into it. The first video that we're going to be looking at today is one by Ferret Daddy. Ferret Daddy. So let's go and check out Ferret Daddy on TikTok. Oh, I love those. I literally have these tunnels right behind me. Ah! I love it when they freak out. War dance, this is a classic weasel war dance that we're seeing here. I can just imagine all the duking that's going on. Dukes being duke, 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 duke. That's kind of the sound that ferrets make when they're really excited and happy and jumping around all over the place. Um, it kind of sounds like that's, that's kind of what duking sounds like. Um, and the person who sent me this wasn't sure if the ferrets were looking for cover um, and that the person was depriving them of that. Not at all. Ferrets love to dig and they love to tunnel, but they're also not particularly um, skittish creatures. Uh, this is all entirely play. Also, this duck at the front here it was me this morning because Instagram was down all day today. Um, excuse me in the ferret tunnel. Could you, could you not? I'm trying to speak. Niffler's trying to eat Dobby. There's one at one end of the tunnel and there's one at the other end and they're just going backwards and forwards like the little carpet sharks they are. But I really love this clip. Um, out of a lot of ferret toys, I would say that these, um, I think they're called Super Throughways by Marshalls. I will link them down below in my description box if you would like to get them for your own ferrets. Are uh, probably the best toy that I can think of for a ferret that is commonly available on the market. You can just see them having so much fun inside the tunnels as mine are clearly demonstrating. If I ever became president of the United States it would become law like that that every office space must have a ferret playpen with a group of rescued ferrets because they're just instant serotonin. Okay the next TikTok account we are going to be encountering is at cute pet owner which sounds reasonable. I'm sure we can expect cute pets and maybe a cute pet owner. Let's take a look. Yeah, I hate it already. This is, okay. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Why would you do that? Why are they colorful? Why are they colorful? I was really hoping I was really hoping that this was CGI and then this just gets worse and worse the longer that I look at this. There is a puppy here and it's it looks like it's chasing the ducklings, which maybe is supposed to look cute, but actually I think it's just trying to get to safety along with all of these ducklings because there is a lot of really powerful wind here. Who takes their pets out in what looks like a potential typhoon? That's just unacceptable. Um, and the other thing as well is it's very popular at certain times of year, namely Easter, to dye 
um, ducklings, um, axolotl, a whole bunch of different animals because it like makes them more appealing and more interesting. But the only animals really that should be dyed, in my opinion, are dogs when it's done by a professional groomer for a show, um, a show competition. Certainly when it comes to ducklings, I would never want to see a dyed duckling. And it's such a powerful dye, it's also on their feet. And remember, ducklings will be in water, or they should be in water quite a lot, and it's not even um, rinsed off, so I don't know if this was a freshly done dye for this particular video. And this little, I think, Shih Tzu puppy is probably still a bit young to be away from its mother. Where is its mother? And there is no way that those ducklings are not getting at least a little bit hurt um, blowing through that wind. If it's powerful enough wind to blow over a Shih Tzu puppy, it's powerful enough to do some serious damage. And all oh, that little, that little green one is just, it stands no chance. It is tumbling. This is really awful. I'm gonna take a look at at some of the other videos. And here they have a chicken on its back. Chickens do not want to be in water for one, and they are also not natural swimmers. This one's doing a great job getting itself back to the shore. Um, and they have it upside down in a wok? What the heck is going on here? And that looks like uh, maybe quails or some other little kind of chick in the water, that's not okay with it. They shouldn't be there. There's also a duck in there that's thrashing around. It's probably really confused as to why there are other animals that normally are not in the water, in the water. Actually, where does that duckling come from? I think that they've just thrown it in there. Let's just go back and see that again. I think that that duck has literally been thrown in to add some chaos and maybe get everyone out of the walk. I really dislike this channel a lot. Uh, there's one more, oh gosh, hang on a second. Um, so here we have a pig with something tied to its tail. The, the pig doesn't mind because, I mean, he's clearly chill and he looks like a well-fed pig, he looks very healthy, and his feet look pretty good too. However, those guinea pigs are being, and the young guinea pigs, are being taunted uh, with this fresh food and they're walking dangerously close behind the pig. If that pig were to sit down or to kick out, it could seriously injure these much smaller, much lighter guinea pigs. Um, and in this next clip, you can see what looks like a Dachshund cross Chihuahua, or maybe I'd push a Dachshund cross Jack Russell, but I think Chihuahua carrying a duckling? Why? I don't see what's so cute about that. The duckling's other foot is dangling um, and uh, and it's trying to get down and then they're showing what I think is the dog placed on top of the duckling to make it look like they're buddies like hey buddy aren't we enjoying making these TikToks there is no video on this account that I want to see again I'm exiting from this account and I think I'm gonna block so I don't have to see because this to me is unacceptable um, it bothers me a lot and that's why I create this series when people try and pass off a, a, a cruel clip as cute. If you were, for example, going back to the first clip from cute pet owner um, to see the Shih Tzu puppy running with the ducklings, take away the cute music and just have like the regular sound effects, it's suddenly not as cute. So that's really something important to think about when you're going through any pet content is take away the cute music and the cute emojis and the effects. Um, really what is happening here, who is making the animals do what, are the animals comfortable, um, and unfortunately a lot of people don't understand animal behavior, but it's very clear from this that these these animals are not having the time of their life, they are, they are terrified, and they're trying to get out of really high wind that really people probably shouldn't even be in. Um, so uh, this is really weird, and the other thing that comes to mind for me with this account is that there is a huge variety of animals. So I'm wondering, is this a working farm? Or is this somebody buying animals just to feature them on TikTok? And a lot of them are young. I don't see any older animals. Where are these young animals going when they grow up? I would be very interested, even though it would be painful to go through to the very beginning of this TikTok and, and to really look at how many of these early animals are still available later on as grown up animals? Because I would hasten to guess that they're not. So to me, they're being treated like props and they're being treated very poorly. Unfortunately, this account is doing really well, um, but overall I'm branding this, not just this video, but just this account as cruel. Dislike, fail, canceled, no. 
and I really hope that those animals find themselves in a far better situation very soon. Next up, we are looking at an account by Catalia. Now, I've actually met Catalia on a number of occasions. I'm going to be as unbiased as possible, though. This video was sent to me by a mutual follower of both Catalia and myself, and they were wondering if this baby animal was terrified. So let's take a look at this video. First of all, that is a beautiful sugar glider. And there we go, he's giving an awa awa. And uh, that there is what we know as crabbing. Let's just take a little listen to that sound. Okay, so that is a sound that sugar gliders make for a variety of reasons, but normally it's when they're irritable or when they are scared. However, I have raised a ton of sugar gliders, not ever as pets for myself, but for a company I used to work with. And the babies, even when you start handling them from small, they're not born immediately with no fear of humans. So in order to get them used to you, you do have to go through a gentle handling process. And that's what stands out to me here, is that Catalia is not manhandling this. What's going on? Niffa, are you stuck? Are you okay? Oh, 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 uh, that makes sense. Dobby was beating up Niffler in a nice way. They're play fighting. Um, <laughs> back to Catalia. Okay, so what strikes me in this video is that Catalia is being very gentle with the handling of this young sugar glider. Um, they are marsupials, so they are known as joeys. She's handling this joey with a lot of care. It's not being forcibly restrained. Um, it's obviously, I think it's, I think it's one that she bred herself. I could be wrong, but I know that she has bred them for a couple of years. Um, and yes, this little baby is not the happiest in the world right now because it is crabbing and if it was super chill then it wouldn't be crabbing. However, even well-adjusted adults will crab every now and then just because they are crabby. Um, it's the same as like when another animal that normally doesn't bite just decides to give you a little like warning nip or when an animal just wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and it's normally really chill. Um, so this animal is not being mistreated in the slightest in this clip. It looks really healthy, it looks really alert. But yeah, this, this is not in my opinion, a cruel video, even though the animal is crabbing. Um, that's very normal for a young animal of this species to do. And it's just saying like, hey, you kind of took me by surprise here. You might want to put me down soon. So I'm sure that this was a very quick clip and that he wasn't pestered or she wasn't pestered too much. I'm going to brand this as cute. It's a very, very healthy specimen. Um, and just going from what I know of Catalia, I, I don't think she would ever, ever mistreat an animal. So this one is going to be a cute video. This next video is from a TikTok account called at discoverer discoverer underscore let's take a look at this because i can see a big clear slide let's have a look okay why are these dogs going down a slide um this looks like maybe it could be a dog daycare or a boarding facility um, I will say that the dogs do look very healthy. The facility, from what I can see, looks clean. However, however, there is no way a dog would choose to go down this slide backwards. And if I slow this down, this first dog, which looks like a Siberian Husky, is definitely coming down slowly and right here it look you dogs have facial expressions i think this dog is like what the heck is happening um and right here as well that is not a happy dog he honestly just looks happy at the end to get out and he sees his friends coming the frenchie next followed by the dalmatian again backwards and then we seem to cut clip to back to the Frenchie at the bottom, then the corgi goes through the legs of the Dalmatian, and then coming down the slide we have another Siberian Husky, it looks like, who collides with the legs of the Dalmatian. Um, and then the Sheba who comes out and really is not happy um, to be greeted so enthusiastically by the Frenchie straight away. He's obviously had enough. The Sheba's like, I'm out, peace out. Um, and then next up we have I think another corgi or a corgi mix, potentially. 
Um, and then at the very end there, a person. Okay, um, I really don't like this clip. It looks initially fun. Like if I were just scrolling and not paying attention, I'd be like, oh my goodness, this awesome daycare has um, a slide. And don't get me wrong, some dogs will choose to go down a slide. Some dogs are really adventurous and they like to climb, they like to slide, they like to go down um, into little chutes. Like that's totally plausible. Um, but the dogs featured in this video I am certain did not choose to do that. So I'm sure that if you just rolled the camera all day long, maybe a couple of dogs would choose to go down there, but I would hasten a guess that most of the dogs in this, particularly the Huskies and the Sheba, um, so the Spitz breeds that can be a little bit more suspicious of items and people, I think that after they've been forced to do this, they're gonna probably have a very negative association with that slide from now on. They probably won't go down again. That's that's my general thought on that. So even though I don't think that the animals in this clip are being overtly mistreated, they are being manhandled somewhat. And I don't think it's fair to put an animal in this situation when there's no need for it. This was clearly just done for content. Um, I would have preferred this if they'd maybe changed the angle of the video and seen, you know, which dogs go down the slide today and then just do a time lapse and then show the dogs choosing to go down there. That would be really interesting to see, but this I, I don't like. So I am going to brand this video. This one's a cruel video. And finally, we come to the very last video that I will be reacting to today. And this was sent in by a different user, but again, it's Ferret Daddy. So let's take a look at this clip. The many different sounds from the sleeping noodle named Hex. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh. Oh, I need to get one of these microphones. This is gold dust. Oh my goodness. Okay, the reason that this video was sent to me was because um, the person who sent it to me wanted to know whether it was healthy for a ferret to make these noises or if they had some kind of like a respiratory infection. This is completely normal for a ferret. Ferrets do definitely dream and they do often um, click chirp, whine, um, and they also can like duke a little bit in their sleep as well. These are all just different um, vocalizations I've heard from Dobby, but not all ferrets will vocalize, which is where I think a lot of people get confused. So uh, this ferret over here is my large male Niffler, and then at the back there is my small female Dobby. Um, Niffler is more vocal when he plays. Dobby is more vocal when she sleeps, and Niffler doesn't vocalize at all when he sleeps so I'm sure that for many people maybe if they have two ferrets that don't vocalize that much um, or have never had a ferret say uh, make any kind of whine or groan in their sleep they might think that perhaps the ferret is sick um, but these sounds are completely normal and um, the only sounds I would say are abnormal is maybe like labored breathing if you can hear a lot of bubbles going on in the breathing um, lots and lots of sneezing but what I will say when it comes to sneezing is that ferrets do sneeze quite a bit um, this can be um, slightly dealt with depending on what kind of bedding you use because not all beddings are suitable for ferrets. There are some which are really dusty, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, but certainly if you're keeping your um, beds elevated off of any kind of powdery um, or loose bedding and they're a, a good quality fleece, then that should help to minimize that. Um, but certainly when it comes to sleeping, um, a few vocalizations here and there are completely normal. Really, uh, I wouldn't worry about them at all. <laughs> As far as this ferret daddy TikTok goes, there's nothing here that worries me at all. And the ferrets look in really great condition. Um, their noses look really good and clear. Um, there's, there's no kind of crust there. The teeth right here look really good too. Um, so everything's in order for me. This is definitely a cute. 
But perhaps you disagree with me on some of these videos. If you have any questions or comments about any of these clips, be sure to leave those questions and comments down below. Or if you disagree with me, let me know why down below. I love to hear your thoughts as well. And of course, if you do have any clips that you want me to react to in the future, feel free to send them over via DM to my Instagram. I do periodically check my um, message requests, even though it doesn't always say that I've seen them because I don't accept every single request. I do see pretty much every single DM that's sent to me. So feel free to send me those and I will save them for a future, uh, sorry, I just spat right at the camera, and I will save them for a future pet YouTuber reacts. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye. So what is Squarespace? Squarespace is a beautiful and powerful platform from which you can build your website. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy-to-use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. You can also extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. You can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can easily share it too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash mzotic to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to go and check them out in the link below. Oh, smells like ferrets in here. It's because there are ferrets in here. Ha ha ha.